What is this? My badger story. All right. That <laughs> When I was in high school, well, I took a uh, biology at Stone Age, I had to take biology, and one of the projects was taxidermy. <laughs> I know. And so they did put us in groups, and we got to pick groups. So I picked a couple friends, and was we didn't want to do it. And the none of us had parents that hunted or anything else. And the only the only main thing was it showed us how to do it, how to do taxidermy, and skin the animal and stuff, but it was supposed to be in a natural habitat. So when it came, it should look like natural, okay? So, of course, we could care less about this project, and so we put it off, and we put it off, and, and you know, coming to class was this cute little mouse, and they knew a little mouse hole, and the mouse looked like it was coming right out of the mouse hole, and the next person brought the group brought a bird right on the bird branch and just looked like it was right real, you know. Somebody else bought, brought a squirrel or a rabbit or something. Oh gosh, this is like due Monday. <laughs> this is like Friday. <laughs> so we're like really panicking. There's this three girl and Fran Hopper was, or Fred Hopper was one of them. So anyway, finally Cindy called and says, oh, good luck. Our dad, my dad has a roadkill for us. Roadkill. Some animal is out on the side of the road. So, okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so it's in this gunny sack. So we go down to her basement and say, okay, who's going to open the gunny sack and see what animal we got? <laughs> Nobody wanted to open it. So finally we're kind of dumping out this thing. Of course, out rolls a big ball of fur and huge claws. It was a badger. And roadkill, okay. So we're all right, okay, well, we can do this, we can do this. So we kind of hold it up and his face is been <laughs> So that was the problem because it had to look natural. So and the thing is you put a tire on So the thing is you slip them down their belly and then you pull the skin and, and take away the blubber or the whatever fat. And so we did all that and you throw borax I know it was like, oh I don't want to do this. And so you throw borax in it to get the smell and so we're trying to take care of this animal and get it skinned and so we can restuff it, you know, and we get to the freezer to come on first. <laughs> and so we don't know what to do with this face. And we get up there with like the ears are all bloody and so we just kind of cut the ears off because we don't know what to do with it. So then we get down to the nose of the face. I know <laughs> Oh, we just want to get this over oh, with. <laughs> so we have to get it all skin, throw away the body and the bones and all that crap. And then we lay him out thinking, okay, we have a dance tonight. We've got to get good youth center. And so <laughs> lay him out, this thing, thinking we'll let him dry and then tomorrow we'll come back and make him uh, form him into a natural ha habitat something. I don't know what we're going to do with it. So anyway, we'll worry about tomorrow. The date tonight. <laughs> So anyway, we come in the next morning, and this is like, oh, <laughs> no ears, no eyes, no mouth, and straight out, like, hard as for you know, you're taking by the clock, oh my goodness, what are we going to do with this bachelor, straight out, like this, <laughs> and they can do that for a so, no, great, <laughs> so we have this thing, we don't know what to do with the nose, the eyes, cotton is because we stuffed it with cotton before I guess we laid it up. So the cotton was coming out the eyes and the ears and the nose. So we kind of tried to find things around the house that matched in color. So we found a nozzle and we stuffed it, stuck it in the nose mouth area. Just that, you know, one of those old, um, kind of brass, copper color that had rusted and <laughs> stuck it in its nose and then took the eyes and some buttons, big black buttons on his eyes. We really wore the ears we had to do something with the ears. Of, so we got a baseball cap put on backwards. <laughs> so over the ears. And so then we thought, okay, what would be natural? Like fly, like Rocky the squirrel kind of thing? Because his tail was kind of hanging out. Straight out. And so, I don't get to do anything with him because he was hard. So it was just when skateboards were brand new. And this friend, where we were doing all this in her basement, her brother got a skateboard. That's it. 
because when there's paper to cut out like this, it would be flying in the background and, you know, the hat went with it. So we wired it onto a skateboard. <laughs> so then we did, so we still have to our project because it's due and it's Sunday. So we take our project to school Monday morning. Well, wouldn't you know, we all had PE together first. And we get into PE and we have this cute little brand new, out of college, a southern lady who's our PE teacher. And she just loved PE and she loved Mr. Green. And so she liked to be that Mr. Green. And so she said, okay, let's get out, you're going to get your little, we had these little one piece romper things we had to wear, you know, bloomers. You would get your bloomers on. And there was a girl gym up here and then there was a slant way and then there was a boys gym. And said, you get your little bloomers on. I think I got Mr. Green now. And you all just come on down and get a skateboard or get a scooter board. And come on down to the boys gym. Boys and girls are going to have PE together. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we have in our bag this already on skate. <laughs> So here is this Miss, what was her name? Willis. Willis, talking to Mr. Green out at the end of the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's an old man, she's a young chick. She, and so we said, okay, we're going to have our badge, I'm sure we gave him a name, down with down PE first. <laughs> Standing down, this, down the ramp, and you should hear a southern screaming. <laughs> I will say, 10 year re class reunion, that science teacher came, Mr. Brown came, he still remembered our project. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't remember that bird in the tree. <laughs> he remembered our bat. <laughs> and, and he's 95 years old. <laughs>